My name is Macy and welcome to How to Survive High School. Just kidding, it won't be that intense, I promise. But my name is Macy if you do know me and if you don't know me, hi, welcome back. I'm about to be a senior in high school, so it's safe to say I've had a lot of high school experience. And I know that when I was a freshman, an eighth grader going into my freshman year, I was really nervous about high school and I didn't really know what to expect. And some of the things in high school just like catch you by surprise. And it's also weird to think that you're like old enough to be in high school. So to help you, an incoming freshman, or just someone who wants to hear some advice about high school, I just dusted my room. So if you see little like dust particles flying around in this video, I literally don't know what to tell you because I just dusted, so. But I know that when I was in the summer before freshman year, I used to watch these YouTube videos of like seniors advice to freshmen how to start high school tips for freshmen because i didn't want to be like an annoying freshman that people would make fun of <laughs> so here i am on the other side of it where i'm now a senior and i have some advice for incoming freshmen that isn't something dumb like don't get in the way of people in the hallway don't walk slow which like don't do those things but like those aren't really fun tips i'm going to try to make this video as short and sweet as i possibly can so let's just get right into it tip number one is for anyone in high school at all but specifically freshmen because you haven't really taken a high school class yet. Maybe you have if you're like smart, but the first tip that I have is don't overwhelm yourself right off the bat. I know that you want to take as many fun high school classes as you can. You want to be involved in extracurriculars. You want to play sports, but don't overwhelm yourself because it will just ruin your year. Specifically with classes, most of the time you don't start taking APs until you're like a sophomore. You can take APs as freshman, I think, but it just like depends where you are at academically, what classes you're taking, etc. But oftentimes you're offered honors classes, at least at most of the high schools that I've been to. You can have honors classes no matter what grade you're in. Some schools don't have honors classes at all, so if yours doesn't, disregard me saying that. Obviously, overwhelming yourself kind of depends on what school you attend, how difficult the honors class is, how difficult the AP class is. Is, how difficult the regular class is like but most of the time honors classes are considered more difficult and might have a higher workload than the standard version of that class and it is super important to like push yourself and challenge yourself and get yourself outside of your comfort zone so maybe take some classes you aren't super familiar with take a class that's a little harder take a class that's a little easier try an extracurricular that you've never tried before but here is the bottom line nothing is worth compromising your mental health yes school should challenge you and life should challenge you and sometimes you can feel a little frustrated at school or you can feel upset by school and it's okay to be like emotionally not always completely a hundred percent because school is hard it's just something that takes over a lot of your life but if you feel this feeling of stress and anxiety and you constantly feel like you're falling behind and you feel that take over your life maybe it's time that you cut back on a few things take a step back and reflect on your schedule and say okay what can i absolutely not keep doing the classes that you take should never be who you are as a human being. So if you feel like the only thing that you ever do is school and you're stressed all the time about school and your life is falling apart because school, maybe you need to take a step back. You take a step back. You're supposed to enjoy high school and in general, even not in high school, you're supposed to just enjoy being alive. So if high school is making you feel extremely strong emotions of stress and anxiety and depression and stuff, it's time to take a step back and realize, okay, I don't need to be working myself this hard because my body and my mind cannot handle it. Not working, not slaying. And I feel like it's super easy to overpack your plans at the beginning of the year because you're like, I can do this. It's a new me. And like, maybe you can, but also I wouldn't get your hopes up that you're like a superhuman and can do eight AP classes and also play tennis and also play basketball and also be in student council and also be like, not, not gonna work out. Like maybe some people can, maybe that's good for them, but this is about you personally. And if it's not like satisfying you and bringing you joy, cut it out. It's done. Marie Kondo it. Tip number two is identify the studying method that works best for you. And I cannot stress this enough, take advantage of any online material that you find. Quizlets especially will be your best friend, especially if you're taking an AP course. Every single AP course that I've ever taken, I've taken four. <laughs> have had extremely detailed quizlets already posted and accessible to me that align perfectly with the class's curriculum. I promise you, Quizlet is the way to go. If you're not a studying person, use 
Quizlet. If you love to study, still use Quizlet because Quizlet has so many great options. You can make tests, you can make flashcards, you can do matching games, you can do typing where you have to look at the definition and type the word or vice versa. It's so helpful. Also, it's high school. So you have a lot of classes and it can become really overwhelming when you have a quiz in three of your classes this week and a test in two of your classes and you don't have any time to study, girl, use Quizlet. Or if you're not a Quizlet fan, even if you are a Quizlet fan, I think it is good to have alternate forms of studying. Find the study method that works for you. Not everyone can study the same. Not everyone retains the information the same way. Some people need to just write whatever they need to memorize like 10 times over and they're like, we good. Some people need to take beautiful notes and then rewrite those notes again more beautifully in order to remember it. Some people need to read the material and annotate. Some people need to verbally tell someone about what they're learning in order to remember it or retain the information. Whatever it is, find out what works for you. It will be so helpful for you if you're able to identify what works for you quickly. You need to find out what's most efficient and effective. Put them together. That's the perfect stud thing for you. It's really important to do that so you don't drown in the workload. Tip number three is attend as many school events with your friends as you can. Going to high school like basketball games or football games as a freshman can be very intimidating because usually the student section is packed and there's older people there and they're telling you to go sit in the back and it's just very stressful. <laughs> Which is why you should always go with your friends. You should always go with at least one other person because although the games and the people can be a little bit stressful when you're a freshman, you're new to the student section, etc. Some of the best parts of high school happen outside of the building. I would say most of the best parts of high school happen outside of the building. You'll have so much more fun at these games if you're actively trying to have fun and if you're really committing to the school spirit of it all. I would say always engage in any spirit activity for your school because it's so much more fun to go to school when your school has like school pride. So if there's a spirit week, commit to it. I hate seeing people who don't commit to the spirit week. And also be supportive at games. Actually cheer. I've seen so many people who just like stand there on their phones in the student section and it's like why are you in the student section then like the whole point is to like get rowdy but again always go with one other person because the events can get kind of crazy and it can get kind of hectic and there can be a lot of people there so always bring one other person kind of like be your buddy buddy system tip number four is take as many pictures as you can you need to romanticize the high school experience as much as possible to make it as fun as other people make it seem. So take pictures at the game. Take stupid, silly pictures of you guys getting ready. Take pictures in class of you and your friends. Take pictures of you on spirit day. Anywhere, anywhere and everywhere, take a picture. Take a picture of your lunch table for all I care. It's gonna be so fun for you to look back on at the end of the year or even like later at your grad party and be like, oh, I had such a good high school experience. Look at all these cute little photos that I had. And it's also very nostalgic and fun. It'll also let you when you're older, kind of look back at who you were friends with in high school, which I think is super cool. My final tip of this video is to make a bucket list at the beginning of the year. I know that, that sounds silly, but just like, just listen, just stay with me here for a minute. Making a bucket list, even if events are like small, minuscule little things like go to a soccer game, go get slushies with my friends after school. Making a bucket list with events like that is going to help you so much when school gets busy. I feel like as soon as school starts getting busy, it's really easy to kind of throw all of your fun experiences to the sidelines but if you want to have a fun high school experience and also have like a balanced work and friendship type life where you can have a social life it's kind of important to make a list of things that you want to do because in it's kind of important to make a list of things that you want to do because then when the time comes you already have a list when someone tells you that they're free after school, you can look at your list and go, hmm, what have I not done that I want to do before school ends? And you can go do it and then you can go take pictures. This also kind of coincides with the take pictures thing. Could make a bucket list and then take a picture whenever you accomplish the task. It's so fun. It's really easy to miss out on fun high school experiences if you're not actively making them for yourself because unlike the fun movies about high school, like High School Musical and any, most, I would say most high school movies and TV shows do not accurately represent high school because they basically act like opportunities just fall in your lap when you want to like hang out or like go to a huge party and whatever like it's probably not gonna happen that way for you I'm gonna be real it's probably not so make a list of things you want to do and actively pursue them actively try to have fun the more that you are looking for fun the more that you find so those are my current tips for you for high school if you want to see more of these let me know because there's so much advice that I could give <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.